The last science begins with a look at some esoteric mathematical concepts, most notably the golden mean. The golden mean has been known to mankind for centuries now, and in fact it goes back to the early Egyptians. During the Dark Ages, the golden mean and many other mathematical enlightened concepts were lost. In the early 1200s, an Italian philosopher-mathematician by the name of Filius Bonacci rediscovered the notion of golden mean, and he made it available to Renaissance thinkers of the time. The golden mean is a mathematical concept that says if you take a rectangle of dimensions y by x, you can divide that rectangle in only one possible unique location such that the original rectangle y by x is in proportion to the newly created rectangle b. And here's the equation that we use to solve for the golden mean. This equation takes the proportion of the large rectangle and suggests that it, it is equal or proportional to the newly created small rectangle that we want to slice off. There is only one unique mathematical solution to that equation, and that solution is y is equal to 1.618. Now, mathematicians and scientists have taken the Greek letter phi, and that is what they often use to refer to 1.618. Now, you can play around with 1.618. You can take ratios of it, phi squared, phi cubed, phi to the fourth. You can also take inverse ratios of phi, 1 over phi, 1 over phi squared, 1 over phi cubed. Now, I want you to study these numbers very quickly, and I think you will probably start to recognize what these numbers are. On many charting programs that we use to get our data and look at our, our charts of individual stocks, many of these programs have a built-in function that will allow us to calculate Fibonacci retracements and Fibonacci extensions. Well, a Fibonacci retracement or extension is nothing more than the golden mean, phi, at work. Let's take a look at a very unique example. Here's a chart of the TSX Composite Index in Canada. From the 2009 lows, we can see that the markets rallied right into early 2011. But then, look what happened. The markets sold off. And in fact, they sold off right into October of 2011. And I remember it very well. I thought, and I'm sure many others thought at the time, that the markets were going to completely collapse and go back and retest the 2009 lows. But they didn't. The sell-off stopped in October 2011. Now here's what's interesting. Take the magnitude of the sell-off. Express that as a ratio of the rally from 2009 to 2011. Do the math. You'll see phi or one of its ratios at work. Such is the power of the golden mean. Such is the power of esoteric mathematics. And I'm afraid this is what many people are missing as they look at the markets, study the markets, trade the markets. They're missing the connection between esoteric math, events in our cosmos, how these things impact human emotion, and how human emotion in turn impacts the markets. And this is why I wrote The Lost Science. I want to present this material to the reader. I want to make sure this stuff doesn't become lost to people again. This is simply too powerful to let go, too powerful to sweep aside. So, thank you very much for watching this short little video. The name of the book is The Lost Science, available at iUniverse.com if you're an American resident, available at investingsuccess.ca from myself, from my personal inventory, if you are a resident of Canada. Have a great day, and again, thank you very much for watching. Take care.